There could be as many as 300,000 North Koreans living illegally in China. The growing sex industry is where many women are forced to find work. Here in the border city of Yangji, North Korean women fill the karaoke bars. It's a common gesture among North Koreans. The safest option is web sex, internet chat rooms. That's how Yang Hua's mother on the left has saved $1,500, enough for one of her children to attempt the journey to South Korea. Yang Hua, her daughter, will be the first to leave. Her mother and brother will have to wait. Min Charles going too. He's nine. His mother, already in South Korea, has paid for him to leave. In the same group will be young me, but her sister, who has a baby, can't afford the journey and must stay behind. Gyum Hee, the tour guide and mother of Bosong, has also decided to leave China by a different route. It's risky. If she's caught again, her treatment will be harsh. The first group went overland by bus and train. They're now in Laos, heading for the Thai border. They've had to vary the route because of increased security on the road. And they're so unused to the minibus, they're often car sick. Hey, Min Chao, whose mother is waiting for him in Seoul, is exhausted. He has a fever and a bad throat. Young Mi is looking after him. The journey's taken its toll. <laughs> The Mekong River, the last border before safety. On the other side lies Thailand. But below their rickety boat are alligators. The lights of Thailand are in sight. They've come a long way. The whole journey's taken 10 days.
With money, it's easier. This is Beijing's shiny new airport. The mother of Bosong, Kyung Hee, plans to fly. She has a ticket to Thailand. There, she can enter the South Korean embassy and become an official North Korean defector. But first, she has to get through passport control. Kim <laughs> Hee has bought herself a Chinese passport, a fake. <laughs> Finally, they're safe. For the first time, they're free to speak out loud and laugh. Time to phone home, those they've left behind, the mother who paid for the trip by sex work on the internet. But there's bad news. The Chinese police have raided one of the refuges. Young Mi's sister, with the baby, who couldn't afford the trip, has been arrested. At the South Korean embassy, the refugees can now choose where they'd like to go. America, South Korea, Europe. Young Hua has chosen South Korea. She's in the capital Seoul and has recently been joined by her mother and brother. Min Chao, too, has joined his mother in South Korea. Kim Hee made it by plane and has again got herself a well-paid job, this time in IT. She's saving to get treatment for her son. Bo Song is still waiting in China, a ghost child. Back on the border, the body of the woman lay for three weeks where she fell, until the ice of the river two men melted and she was washed away. At dead of night, the traffic keeps coming.